Two songs have a different flavor. If it is sung by Lata rather than by any other singer. Some songs of Lata, I cannot imagine anybody else singing them. For instance, Chandi Hawaii. Aiga Amavala. Because they have made such an impression on me. Maybe on many other people. Yes, yes. Now, how would it be if Rafi sang it or Asha sang it? I can't imagine. I really cannot. Sometimes, in program, Asha sang a song of Lata. Lata never sang a song of Asha. In program, say, a duet of Lata and Manade. On that particular occasion, Asha oh, yeah, Now, that's the fleeting thing. You can't hear it over and over again. It's in a concert. Rarely, songs of Lata might have had versions by some other people. At the moment, I cannot recall. But there is one uh, version song uh, uh, sung by Talat Memo, uh, which is so horrible. Uh, if you compare it uh, to the original with the Rafi has sung. What is that? Tell me. That, uh, that song from Babi. Chalum uh, Bijare. Now, you must keep in mind this particular thing. The original is recorded in a full-fledged studio with the music director present, with the number of orchestra members he has chosen and his arrangement of it. Now, the version recording is done in the Grandphone Company, their studio. It's not a bad studio, but the orchestra members are the Graphone Company employees, not the original ones. And 90% of the time, the original music director is not around. It is a limited recording, limited in every way. Limited in every way. So, no, but I am talking more than that, the rendition. Possible. Possible. The rendition is feasible if you... Possible. Now, Similarly, some Babu songs have been uh, given version recordings by somebody else. Uh, that uh, Talak chorus, what is that uh, Boatman's chorus? Is it Rafi Singh or? In Babu Nadi Kinare. Nadi Kinare. Who sang it in the original? Talak. Talak. That was reprised by Hemant Kumar in a version recording. Oh, really? Hevat Kumar uh -huh. gave a version recording of Nadi Kinare. Acha. Hmm. I prefer Talat. Normally, I would prefer a Hemant rendition. Normally. But this particular thing, I prefer Talat's original version. Because it has a richness of texture. Not just his singing. The chorus, and, uh, whoever they... Who was the lady who sang? Shamshad Begum. Um, uh, I don't know who, I can't recall immediately who sang along with him. The version recording is not good. Mm -hmm. But there are some version recordings which are equally good. For instance, from the film Shama, Suraya has sung and Shamshad Begum. I really cannot say I prefer this or that. I like Surya as well. I think the, the co-partner was uh, Durrani. Maybe. I, mean, I, I don't place that well, value. You may be a solo and also it will. Ah. Uh, the solo numbers are equally good. Surya or Shamshad I like both their voices. I cannot say in general, I prefer Shamshad's voice or Surya's voice. <laughs> I like both. And in Shama, those songs are equal. 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 But would you also agree as far as uh, Shamshad Begum is concerned? There are certain songs which only she could sing. Yes. Yes. I think she was a complete singer. Yeah, I mean, would you agree that?
Shamshad was a complete singer. I didn't get that. Do you think that Shamshad was a complete singer? There is no complete singer, half singer and one folk singer. If at all, the most versatile, I would say Rafi and Lata. Because they could sing any kind of song. But any kind of song. Uh, the others were not so versatile. Uh, I would say even uh, Asha could sing a very Yes, subsequently. Subsequently. Uh, yes, Asha. You can argue that she was even more versatile than Lata. Yes. The kind of songs she was given, the music directors she worked for, for instance, uh, Khayam and Opinayar, who used Khayam in one film, Umrah Ujjan. Um, uh, I don't think anybody, you see, the music director is the composer. He visualizes a song in a particular form. He picks a voice which he thinks will do justice to and he molds that voice. Asha has spoken in an interview for Umbra Ujjan, she was asked to sing in a lower key than her usual thing. And she said, Kayamri, what is this? Nobody will like it and it won't be good. She said, Madam, you sing it. If you don't like it, we'll cancel it. She sang it. She heard it. She liked it. Over. This thing I have heard before. Uh, in Umbra Ujjan. I'm not talking about uh, the other film. Uh, Rangaravji, one question. Uh, I heard that uh, Umraujan was offered to Jaydev before and he had composed for Umraujan. I can't. I can't. Can Earlier in Umraujan, Jaydev was asked to give the music. I do And in fact, he did uh, give one song. But then later on, everything was done by Khayyam. I do not know about it. I will know about it. Uh, mm -hmm. And if Jaydev would have done, he would have brought his own stamps to it. I can't say it would have been better or it would not have been as good. That is pure speculation. Because Jaydev, when others have done 400 uh, songs, 400 films, 100 films, 150 films. He would have done 20 or 30. But in each one of them, he left behind his own stamp. Right. There is no way I can say the music by Jaydev in this particular film is not good enough. I can't say. You can say that somebody else might have done better. That is speculation. That is speculation. Instead of Rafi, if Saigal would have sung it, it would have been better. Have you met Jaydev? Have you met Jaydev? No, I have not. I have not. I met the music directors who worked in Madras films. Uh -huh. Yes, there was Chitra Gupta whom I met. Sardar Malik whom I met in Bombay. Uh -huh. I met others also in Bombay, for instance, Ali Chaudhary and C. Ramchandra, but that was after I met them in Madras when they came to One or two people, I worked with them in the sense that when they were composing music for a film, I sat with them. When I say I worked with them, it doesn't mean that I did that, contributed something to their music. So, which, which songs do you remember you were there when they composed? Salim Chaudhary did a television film called Chairman Chalamaya. It was directed by my friend Mr. G. Ramini. I was at the uh, music sittings. All the tunes were pre composed by one of them, uh, was from a film which was yet unreleased in Hindi. I don't remember which song it was. Mm -hmm. He used that tune. Subsequently, the Hindi song was also released. 
I was sitting with the music director, Satish uh, Salim Chaudhary, who played the uh, film, the lyric writer and the director. Only once, my opinion was sought by the director. Salim Chaudhary wanted his wife, Sabita, to sing it. He did not ask me in front of the music director. In private. He wants to have some, I said no, have only Telugu singers, do not uh, have Sabita uh, Benedict. So one, definitely he would have got the best out of Sabita Benedict, no doubt, but the Telugu people would have preferred Sushila or Bala Subramaniam or Manisala or somebody. There would have been some different actions also.